my beautiful people what's up i know y'all missed me i've been gone a whole year i know y'all missed me but guess what your girl is back every day right is back baby and we're back at it so i know y'all wondering like where the world did you go you just ducked off unless you start giving us content then you just ducked off and ran away well i am sorry life comes at you fast and sometimes it knocks you out and i feel like that's basically what happened with me and that's where i've been life came at me fast so i'm just gonna update you guys as briefly as possible on what's up and what's been going on bear with me i have notes i am going to try to cover everything so there aren't a million questions about any gray areas so first things first my stuff ain't fancy still i'm still shooting off this uh selfie stick with this phone um i have a camera that doesn't work it needs a new battery I don't have the coins to buy a new battery yet so bear with me we're gonna get there don't even worry about it okay i'm sitting in front of the window trying to get that good natural light and we just gonna make it work we're gonna do what we do um it's literally been a year and i've literally been struggling and i just feel like i'm back in the groove within the last two to three weeks so we're going on a month of feeling back to myself feeling back in the groove a month of getting it together it's yeah yeah since last june it's been a relic day and your girl and husband all over the place trying to get my life together but i feel like i've got it and that's why i'm back here to see you guys yeah so you know uh my money wasn't flowing my business wasn't making no money i felt like i was trapped i didn't want to get no new jobs because i didn't want to go back to nine to five i was not interested at all um so yeah i was basically living off my boyfriend which wasn't a problem for him but it was a problem for me because i'm used to having my own i ain't used to depending on nobody for nothing really ever since i got my first job in 10th grade ever since i got that little bit of taste of getting money i was like oh I'm beginning like getting off like this for the rest of my life. So that's what I was doing. And then I decided in 2017 to lose, not lose, leave my job and work on my passion stuff for full time. And baby, let me tell you, baby girl, it is not easy. And I was struggling like internally. I was struggling externally. I was struggling mentally struggle bus like i don't even have words for that struggle clients was fickle clients was canceling you know nothing was for certain and for sure um i didn't feel like people were supporting me i didn't feel like people were supporting my content and if they were they i couldn't feel it or i couldn't tell or they weren't telling other people because i just felt like I don't know everything was just off um i was spending too much time on social media driving myself crazy comparing myself to all these other people that's been in the game for 10 years i was watching everybody shine watching all my peers get off and feeling a ways because i was not getting off at all like i was just lost in the sauce um my boyfriend's career is is and was steadily rising and getting better and i felt like i was stuck like i none of my shit was working and i'm just like what what is this what is life like how is this gonna work i don't want to be jealous but it's just like okay why am i not getting anything and everybody else is getting everything um friendships was falling apart friendships was fading away 
I haven't been hearing from people or I hadn't talked to folks or, you know, just every day everything felt like it was going wrong um i felt myself slipping into this slight resentment of my boyfriend because his career was going so well and things were working out for him and i felt like i was being shortchanged in life um people weren't reading my blog i was writing my heart out and i felt like nobody was reading um you know, and then, so, maybe a month ago, I decided, you know what, you're going to go back to work. You're going to get a job or two. You're going to get money. You're going to make them ends meet. You're going to get out this debt because you're not taking that to 2020. And you're just going to get on your grind because you know that's what you got to do. You tried to this little cushy, you know, kept woman life. That ain't your life. Go to work. Get you a job. Get your money up and do your thing. So, you know, I found two part. Well, one job I went back to. So I used to work at Lane Bryant like in 2013. Went back to Lane Bryant. And I also picked up a secretary position with a local church. So I got two paychecks. One of them I got paid this week. And when that check came in, I heard God say, yeah, you out here playing. And I'm not playing with you. And I was just like... Oh my God, like the check came and went that quick. So it's just like, you need to put in more work. You need to hustle. You need to figure out ways to make all of your streams produce great income. You got to get in your bag. You got to do your thing. So, you know, I just had to pep talk myself. So I'm like, okay, girl, get up, get that phone, get that selfie stick, get back on YouTube because it's a lot of people out there just like you who's struggling with life who want to do all of this other blogger stuff and be influencers and this that and a third and they can't figure it out either and i'll be looking for blueprints for what i'm trying to do and the stuff i want to create and the life i want to live and it's like i can't find blueprints and then i came across this meme one time that was like you probably can't find a blueprint for what you're trying to do because it hasn't been done and god gave that gift to you so you're gonna create the blueprint I ain't got no problem with that, God. I don't got no problem with that. We gonna do that. We is gonna create this blueprint. We gonna do something different that ain't nobody seen before. And so I just, you know, been trying to get in my bag. And, you know, I'm back in the groove of things. You know what I'm saying? I don't have my own space to, like, shoot and record. As you can see, I'm sitting in the living room of the house. Like, I don't have, like, I have some equipment and all of that stuff. But I just don't have nowhere to set it up. And make everything look cute. So I'm just doing what I can with what I got. Um, so yeah, I'm back in the game stronger than ever. You know what I'm saying? I've been blogging consistently for the last three years. This is the third year. Woo, woo. I'm definitely having an event this year. Because, you know, it's been hard. And it still is hard. Because I don't feel like I get enough readers on my blog as I should. But... We're going to keep writing because God gave me that gift of words and writing. So I'm going to keep writing and I'm going to keep doing that. Um, got my two part-time jobs. I'm working on new content for you guys every day. I'll probably possibly be moving to Atlanta, maybe. I want to move to L.A. And my boyfriend's job has, well, it's not a job, but what he does for a living has him in atlanta right now so i may end up in atlanta who knows but i'll be moving away from detroit probably um and i just been working on getting my confidence back and getting back in the groove of things because all my life i've been influential like before being an influencer was a thing i've been an influential person so now i'm just trying to work on being that being whole, being myself, getting in my bag, not comparing myself to all these other people doing whatever they're doing, and just, you know, learning to roll with the punches and do my thing and enjoy my life. So, here on this channel, you're going to be getting a lot of stuff for the everyday girl because all of us is like everyday people. We don't, all of this fancy IG stuff, we not all of that. We everyday people with extraordinary gifts and it is my hope that I can help you find your extraordinary gift, 
find the love for yourself again and just help you get in your bag and get your points and you know find your stride because all of us fall off but it ain't nothing like a good comeback story and this story right here this story about to be a classic so y'all sit back and relax we gonna all get off together make sure y'all subscribe to my channel make sure y'all like this video share it with a friend i love y'all to death to all my supporters hang in there we on the comeback we gonna come back and level up and it's all good honey so let's do this i know y'all missed ray so let's do it we out here i will catch y'all later peace